Hi, and welcome to the Welding Engineering Technology Inspection Information Session. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about this program as well as the others in the welding cluster of programs at Conestoga College. My name is Joe Barnes, and I will be your guide on this virtual tour. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Joe Barnes. I'm a program coordinator and faculty member here in the welding cluster of programs at Conestoga College. I am one of many faculty members that uh, students would see throughout their time here in the various programs that we'll discuss today. Uh, the focus of today's session will be on uh, the welding facilities and services that Conestoga offers, as well as a bit more of a focus on the welding engineering technology inspection program. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope we answer all the questions that you have. I am a graduate of the Conestoga College three-year engineering technology program, as it was back in 2001. Since then, I've spent time in various roles in the industry, including quality assurance, technical sales, and automation management. These roles have provided me with an opportunity to learn, as well as impart some of this knowledge on students as they come through our, our doors. I am one of many faculty members in this program that have real world tangible experience in the welding field. We have expertise in fabrication technologies, engineering welding technologies, uh, robotics and inspection. You're in good hands choosing Conestoga College for your welding program needs. A couple of the program highlights that we find coming out of the welding engineering inspection program include the opportunities for students to pursue careers in the oil and gas industry, nuclear, construction, or automotive. This program also serves a, a very hot labor market at the moment. Again, with 50% of our time spent in the shops, whether it be learning hands-on skills development, experimentation, documentation, inspection methods, or robotic programming, students come out of this program very well-rounded to tackle the challenges that they would find in industry. This program also offers an optional co-op term. This is a competitive uh, opportunity that students would apply to at the end of first year for uh, development into the co-op at the end of their second year. That co-op term would run 16 months consecutively and allow the students to experience a variety of different work environments uh, throughout that uh, time period. Again, to support all of this learning, Conestoga College does have uh, pretty extensive uh, infrastructure and facilities to support the welding training industry. I'm going to take a minute just to explain a little bit about the rest of the programs in welding that we offer at Conestoga College. As you can see on this image here, all of our welding programs offered at the Cambridge campus have a common first year. That common first year would include 50% uh, of your time in the shop learning the hands-on skills development of various welding processes. At the end of that first year, students have an opportunity to either graduate with a welding technique certificate, it's a one-year certificate, or they can elect to continue on into the three-year technology programs, whether it be welding and robotics or inspection, or into one of the two-year technician programs, welding technician and robotics, or welding and fabrication technician. After that first year is when students have an opportunity to make that switch. It's a very common practice and one of the reasons why we've allowed for this type of laddering and having a common first year. The only exception I will say is that first year, the two green programs here, welding and robotics and welding inspection, have a little bit more of an engineering level math requirement. That math is required to propel them into the second and third years of that program. Students that have uh, elected to start in either of the technician programs or the techniques program will have what we call a trade calculations math. That does not exclude them from participating in the second year of the uh, engineering level or engineering technology programs. 
All they would need to do is maintain a 70% average in that first year math, in the two first year math courses, in order to be accepted into the engineering technology programs. We see students every year transfer from the techniques or fabrication technician into the three year technology programs and vice versa. We have students that decide uh, what they originally thought would be a good career path for them in the engineering technology programs, decided to transfer into the fabrication technician, for example, as they really fell in love with working with their hands and building things out of metal. Again, a core component of that first year, about 50% of your time, will be in the skills development lab, which we'll show you a little bit later on, learning all those hands-on skills needed to become a welder. With the way the technology has changed over the last several years and the addition of more advanced softwares to help with the learning process, Conestoga has in introduced a bring your own device requirement for most programs. Uh, the program that we're talking about today is no exception. As you can imagine, there are a variety of different uh, options available for computers. Uh, we're essentially specifying that a laptop be the minimum requirement uh, for each student as they enter these programs. Um, given the types of software that we do use, whether it be AutoCAD or SolidWorks or offline virtual robotic programming software, the requirement for the device needs to be such that it can run all of these different things. Again, students will have access uh, to these tools uh, for download or virtually uh, tapping into the servers at Conestoga College in order to run those software platforms that we're looking for. As you can see here on this slide, what we're basically asking students to do is buy the ultimate bring your own device as recommended. Again, the processing power and, and graphics cards required in order to run the software in these engineering level uh, programs is required to ensure that the students don't run into any problems. The college website does identify that Apple products might be okay. I'm going to suggest that they are not. Now, we do run into interface issues with the software, and the college is set up predominantly to support uh, Windows uh, types machines. That doesn't mean that Apple won't work, but there may be additional issues or problems uh, that the students will run into running a, a, an Apple product for this. If you have any questions about the requirements or are unsure, you can take this information. Uh, it's also available on the website to any of the uh, computer supply stores, and they'll be able to help you out. Over the next few slides, I'm going to take you through on a virtual tour of the Cambridge campus. I'm going to focus a little bit more on the welding facilities that we have at the Cambridge campus, including the welding shop, the advanced welding lab, and a little bit more emphasis on the welding inspection lab. This is the main atrium of the Cambridge campus, the School of Engineering and Trades. As you can see, it's a pretty wide open space. The Conestoga Students Incorporated is located in this area as well. And it also adds a uh, highway through to the rest of the building, whether it be going up to the second or third levels. Most of the shops are located on the first floor. The Cambridge campus also has its own library space. This library space is used by students quite often for quiet study. We have our own cafeteria. The cave is an area for run by students uh, incorporated and is a gathering place. Student services hub also for students run by Conestoga Students Inc. An example of one of the lecture halls that we have. A quiet open space for students to work either in groups or individually. And another one of our larger lecture halls. These lecture halls are typically not used by the welding students 
we have larger programs that, that need the, the space facility. Um, I mention this because most of our class sizes are going to be capped at uh, no more than 40 students. These two lecture halls I showed you just now hold upwards of, of 60 to 100. The next up on our virtual tour is the Welding and Fabrication Lab. As mentioned, that first year of the program is going to spend a lot of time in the welding skills development area. Conestoga has upwards of 45 booths, each outfitted with a variety of different welding processes. Each booth is capable of performing the same tasks, but we do have a variety of different uh, manufacturers represented to give students the opportunity to learn on more than just one device or one power source. In the fabrication area, students have the opportunity to work with different various fabrication machine tools and operations, as well as manually fitting and laying out, developing their skills in the second semester. This next stop on the tour kind of highlights the uh, cutting skills area. Again, each booth that we have of the 45 all have the ability to provide oxy fuel cutting and brazing operations, as well as the welding processes, as I mentioned earlier. Included in the virtual tour is the fabrication shop. This fabrication shop includes a variety of different uh, machines that students will have hands-on experience in operating, from manual brake presses to a variety of different uh, plate shears offered, there's a small one and a very large one, to a CNC operated brake press and a CNC cutting table using the plasma arc cutting process. The Welding Technology Lab includes a variety of different manufacturers' welding processes with the heavy focus on non-traditional welding outputs. This would include things like pulse welding, that's CMT from Fronius. As you can see, the equipment in here is more varied and the learning space is a little bit more modular to allow students to explore a variety of different processes through their studies. It includes operations like a submerged arc welding system, as well as two spot welding systems you see here. Our next stop is the Welding Robotics Lab. This is an area in the second year of the program where students will begin to learn how to program robots using a teach pendant. There's also introduction to offline robotic programming, which we'll show you in a second. This lab has a total of six welding robots in it, and again, dedicated to our space. As you see in the animation below, a robot has been programmed in the virtual environment by bringing a 3D model of the part into that world. That information can then be downloaded and transferred into a robot for actual operation and welding to occur. Our three year, our third year of the program, students are provided an opportunity to work on an advanced uh, technology project of their own choosing. The image on the right shows a, a project that some students did in additive manufacturing, basically 3D printing with metal. Their final product were, was a mug uh, made out of stainless steel. Again, pretty technically advanced for programming being completed on a teach pennant rather than in the virtual world. We take a look at the welding inspection side of things. Again, regardless of which engineering program you're in, robotics or inspection, every student will get an opportunity to work with the inspection tools available to us at Conestoga College. This image, we have a couple of students working with uh, microscopes to take a look at the microstructure of a welded sample. On the right hand side, we have students working uh, to uh, try to identify defects in welds below the surface, not 
available or not visually represented by the naked eye. So what does all this mean? After three years of welding engineering technology inspection, <coughs> education at Conestoga College, we see 100% of our graduates find employment in this field. The types of jobs that we see them uh, take on include welding inspection, whether it be construction or fabrication, procedure development, and welding shop management. Now the fun part. Quite often when we hold information sessions regarding our welding programs, we do get a lot of the same question coming up over and over again. I'm going to touch on a couple of those now in the hopes that I can answer those questions for you along with the other information I provided in this video. So to get started, one of the most frequent questions we do get is, is it possible to change programs halfway through or at the end of uh, a year? And the answer to that is yes. I kind of touched on that in the slide where I explained the, the various different programs and how they kind of interrelate with each other. That's one area in which the Conestoga College and the welding department take pride in making it as easy as possible for students to explore all the different aspects of the welding field prior to making a decision or locking into a specific career path. Next question, how much welding will I get to learn? Well, I've kind of touched on that one as well. That first year of the program, 50% of a student's time will be spent in the shop learning all the hands-on uh, physical skills of welding with the variety of different welding processes. Once we get into the second and third year of the inspection program, more time is spent in the shop, not so much on the skills development side, but more on the experimentation of welding processes. What happens when we start to play with the different variables and relating those changes to the output in quality that we get with those processes. So we shift from a more of a hands-on skills development to experimentation and the relation of theory to practice on the shop floor. In addition to the welding specific stuff, students also get their first taste of welding inspection with hands-on ins inspection uh, methods and tools, as well as robotic programming. In the third year, students end up in the shop uh, quite frequently for more experimentation with various welding processes, uh, a technical project that each student needs to complete, it's a project of their own choosing, again, using all of the different tools and, and equipment that we have available to them, including the inspection lab, the welding lab, and the robotics lab. Next question, are there other credentials I need once I am finished the program? That really all depends on which avenue a student would like to pursue. If the goal is to become an inspector, then the answer to that question is yes. There are additional uh, courses or programs that would be required in order to become a certified inspector. Conestoga College does not, is not a certifying body for some of those inspection techniques. Um, however, in the third year of the program, the inspection students do end up having an opportunity to take a course directly related to them uh, challenging the level one visual inspection requirements for from the CWB. Uh, past that, there is level two, level three, et cetera. Then there's uh, various other uh, inspection methods that, that can be pursued as well. Uh, but again, the core program at Conestoga is to set students up for success in gaining those additional credentials. Will I get my welding tickets? That's a, another uh, frequently asked question. The answer to that one is Conestoga College is a certifying test center for the Canadian Welding Bureau. Uh, multiple times a year, the Bureau does come in uh, for what we call test nights that students can sign up for uh, and pay the CWB inspector to challenge that, uh, that physical uh, welding test. Uh, upon completion of that, the CWB would issue uh, a certificate uh, identifying that the student has successfully completed uh, that test. Okay, so in that, that respect, tickets are uh, available to be gained, but it is not included as part of the tuition at Conestoga College. How much will a graduate earn from the inspection program? Well, that's a, a tougher question. Uh, we see quite a range 
uh, that students uh, end up entering the field in. Um, I would say on average, uh, over the last uh, several while or several years uh, since I've been teaching at the college, uh, that that range can can vary between I'd say forty five thousand dollars a year, uh, right up to seventy thousand dollars a year to start. Again, it's a widespread, and there's a lot of uh, different factors that contribute to that spread. So overall, as mentioned on a previous slide. We do see 100% of our graduates out of the inspection program gaining employment in the field. Uh, the nice thing about these programs is that we see these students steadily uh, increase their earning potential once they're, once they're one or two years out from Conestoga's uh, program here. I'd like to thank you again for taking the time to uh, join us on this uh, little virtual tour here. Uh, I hope I've been able to answer a uh, majority of your questions that you have. If anything else comes up, because I know there's a lot of information in this video, uh, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Uh, my information will be on the next slide. Uh, by all means, be happy to start a conversation and hopefully get you to join our team here at Conestoga College.